Well, Sonic sure had a big year this year, 2022. Between the movie and Origins and Frontiers and Sonic Prime, he had a lot going for him. Honestly, Sonic hasn't come out with his A game in a long time. Throughout the entire decade of the 2010s, we, I mean, we had a couple of good games like Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors, to name a couple. But the last epic game, in my opinion, wasn't since Sonic Unleashed. And maybe to some, even Sonic No Black Knight. And that was since the 2000s. So to see Sonic back in his game again, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for Sonic. One big difference that I see about Sonic in this year compared to prior years is that they put a lot more focus on the characters. Not just about the plots and the games, but the characters. We got to see how Sonic developed into more of a hero role in the Sonic movie 2, and how Tails built confidence in himself in the Sonic movie 2 as well, and also seeing how Knuckles can be very gullible. Sonic Origins gave us the classic games to play again, but on modern consoles. And it really reminded me of the Gems Collection and the Mega Collection that we had back in the PS2 and GameCube days. Fast forward a little more and we get Sonic Frontiers. A game on epic proportions that we haven't seen since Sonic Unleashed, or whatever you want to say is the last epic Sonic game we've had, that doesn't just focus on phenomenal gameplay, but also a well thought out story, really digging into the characters and how they interact with each other. And on top of that, also binding all of the Sonic series together from all the 3D games and the classic games. Because before Sonic Frontiers, we kind of thought that Sonic had a bunch of different timelines. But Sonic Frontiers kind of brought all of that together and referenced all these events that happened in prior Sonic games. But didn't just reference events that happened, but also applied them to how they developed the characters. Fast forward to Sonic Prime, we got to see Sonic's friends in different universes and essentially see them as their opposite selves. It's really fascinating to see how characters can act as their opposite selves and how it kind of takes us by surprise and not just Sonic and the show. But anyway, I don't want to go into too much detail about it. You'd have to watch Sonic Prime for yourself. But the point I want to drive across is that I feel like Sonic is getting back on his A game again because there's a lot more focus on the characters, not just the gameplay and not just the plot of the story, but the actual characters themselves and how we can relate to them. Whether you're the shy, introverted engineer like Tails, or the extroverted hedgehog who likes to joke around a lot, or the grounded introvert that likes to keep his duty and stay loyal, as well as many other personalities out there. Now I know this may have been a little bit of a short video I just made, but I think it really drives across a point on what's really appealing to the Sonic series or any video game series as a matter of fact. Let me know in the comments below what you think made Sonic such a great series in 2022, and be sure to check out my other videos here on the screen. Alright, well thanks so much for watching and as always, we are Eternal for Life.